What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I got another e-bike review coming to you. This time, this is on an absolute beast of a fat tire e-bike. You've probably seen it on uh, YouTube already. Let's take a closer look at this thing. So this is the Himaway Cruiser and at first when you see these videos on this bike because you've probably seen these videos all over YouTube already a lot of YouTubers have reviewed it but they have it outfitted with the uh, urban uh, fenders for keeping the water off for commuting and a beautiful rack in the back for carrying gear and putting bags on it and things like that but I wanted to review this thing more as an adventure bike for exploring the campsite if you're an overlander or if you're just an outdoorsy person who wants to ride this thing more like a mountain bike so i actually took the fenders off and i did not install the uh the beautiful bamboo rack and i kept this thing basically looking like how it looks on the manual which is kind of a beefy looking hardtail front suspension mountain bike I mean, with these four inch tires, it just floats over everything. This is definitely made to go over, you know, gravel, sand, snow, and mud. For sure, this is uh, more of an extreme terrain type bike for sure because of those big fat tires. They're like balloons, they're like pillows. Pretty cool. So the thing that uh, you're gonna wanna know right off the bat, how much does this thing cost? So a big off-road fat tire e-bike like this this is going to run you roughly in the $1,500 range, give or take, depending on the way the world is, because demand's kind of high right now for e-bikes. But if you can get, if you can find it um, online, or maybe here on the on my channel, you can use the link to buy it. Maybe you can get it for around $1,500, give or take. So that's that's pretty awesome. There are e-bikes out there that are bigger and faster, but they also cost more. You know, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, ten thousand dollars for some of these e-bikes. But this one, again, you're going to get a lot of bike for only 1500 bucks, which I think is pretty awesome. So first things first, the motor. What does it got back here? So this is a 750 watt gear drive rear hub motor. There's a gear reduction, like planetary gears inside this, um, this hub here. So you get pretty good torque. And with 750 watts, uh, that's, that's a lot of power. Are there bigger motors out there? You know, a thousand even, and even higher, yes. But the way the United States is going, it looks like 750 is gonna be the maximum you can uh, have on a lot of these uh, bike trails. But if you wanna just go off-road, you know, on private property, yeah, get, get a bigger motor and you're good to go, right? But if you wanna ride this in a lot of places, you're safe with a 750 watt. So the other important thing is the battery. So Himaway, builds this bike with samsung cells which is a big selling point if you're into e-bikes then you know the battery pack is the heart of the e-bike if you get a bike with cheap cells yeah it'll work for a while but then when they, those cells start dying what are you going to do samsung cells they're high quality they're proven they're well respected they last a long time they have a long life uh, this one is a 17.5 amp hour battery pack so you're going to get Nice performance out of this, good power delivery. The uh, controllers right here on the bottom, that's what controls the electricity going to that 750 watt geared hub drive. And then there's a little button here where you can actually check the battery gauge. So there's three green lights and an E for empty, I guess. You can just push that, it'll tell you how much battery life you have. Of course, right here, is where you plug in your wall charger so you can plug this thing in and charge it 
the manual says roughly I think it says about six hours to charge this thing from dead to full just like most e-bikes there's a lock here you don't need a key to drive it or to ride it but you do need a key to take the uh, battery out and you can lock it as well so people don't steal your your Samsung cells another thing is suspension this thing has a spring suspension fork in the front and it's nice and wide so not an air fork not quite an air fork but if you had air forks on here you'd probably spend a lot more than fifteen hundred dollars it does have a lockout over here so you can lock this out and ride it like a rigid a full rigid bike if you want to see like when you're pedaling uphill you can do that that's pretty cool it does have led lights so you can ride at night in case you get caught after dark you can get home safely it has disc brakes these are mechanical disc brakes these one are called radius I never heard of those guys before they're okay they get the job done um, do I prefer hydraulic everybody does again if you got hydraulics it would cost a lot more money there's the uh, mechanical disc brake in the back in case you're wondering these are 180 millimeter discs the tires again four inches wide 26 inch wheel set so that essentially gives you the feeling of like say 29 inches overall they are big they are freaking huge and they do float over terrain really well it is a hardtail there's no suspension in the back but with those big four inch tires those actually act kind of like your suspension they do soak up some of the, the bumps in the road as well as your seat comes with a nice big wide seat for commuters super soft probably the softest seat I've ever seen on the e-bike so far which helps with suspension like if you're sitting down and riding over bumps the tires plus this soft seat it's gonna be nice and smooth still it's pretty nice there's a grab handle here for moving the bike around which is pretty popular in a lot of these e-bikes adjustable seat clamp uh, the rear axle by the way you have to have a, a wrench to take that off but the front is a quick disconnect if you look right there it is a quick release and if you're 20 or 30 miles away from your car you got to push the 70 pound bike back home so what I do is uh, I carry a spare with uh, these what do you call these tire repair levers and then a tool to get the uh, the rear tire off because uh, it has a bolt it's not a quick release but um, Himway is actually nice enough to ship the spare tube with the bike. So you actually get a spare tube. That's nice. You don't have to go out and buy it. So thank you, Himway, for doing that. Because I need this when I'm out riding. So taking a closer look at the frame, obviously this is made out of aluminum. And it's got a nice little bend right here. Not quite a step through, but it is lower. So if you had to straddle this thing, it's not going to bang into your groin. So that's kind of nice. And then in the back, here's your, your brazons, the welded areas to put on your rack. And then I noticed in the front, on the front of the frame, actually has provisions for a hard rack out here in the front, a small one. So if you wanted to use this as a commuter bike to carry books and groceries or whatever, you could put racks front and rear. That's kind of nice. And for those of you wondering how much this big beast of a bike weighs, they say it weighs about 72 pounds. So I don't know if that's with the racks that they gave me and the fenders that they gave me, but I took those off. So maybe it's closer to 70. Still, either way, it's a big, heavy bike. The handlebars, they are kind of set up for cruising, I think. It looks more like a cruiser bike, like a commuter bike. You could upgrade to all this stuff though later if you wanted to but yeah decent decent handlebars i'm not going to complain they get the job done they have these fake leather grips on here with palm swells so here's your throttle and i believe you can unlock this i unlocked it and i think you can get up to 28 maybe 30 if you're lucky isis index shifter which is pretty popular in a lot of these e-bikes seven speeds down up pretty simple right 
Here's how you turn the bike on. These are your controls. You have a power button, hold it for three seconds and your display pops on. Battery with one, two, three, four, five bars. Your gear, one, two, three, let's see, let's go through the gears. It's got five gears or five speeds. Put it back down to zero. And then you have your miles per hour. You can change that to kilometers if you need to. And your odometer, how many miles you've ridden. And to get in the settings, you just hold down plus or minus for a few seconds and you can get into the settings and unlock it if you want to go 28 miles per hour. There's the headlight button right there. You just hold that just for a second. And the nice big four LED headlight pops on to turn it off. Just touch it again and the icon goes away. And then there's an eye. That's like your enter button right there. When you're in the settings, you just hit that as enter. But uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Over here, you got an integrated bell. Pretty nice, I like that, when you're passing people. And then here's a look at your brake levers. They're pretty nice. They're not just plastic brake levers. These are actually aluminum with soft touch rubber inserts. That's a nice touch. The wires are Pretty nicely uh, routed through the frame right here. You can see there's a hole in the frame. So they're relatively clean. And then they pop out down here in the bottom. You can go where they gotta go. Again, your controller is exposed right here. So be aware of that. If you um, go over logs or rocks, you don't wanna smash that. Here's your cadence sensor. So when you turn the pedals, it'll go whatever speed you have it set to. Um, this is not a torque sensor e-bike. Again, if it was, it would cost closer to $2,000 or $3,000 if it was. Here's a look at your crank set. They're not branded. They do have a, a bash guard though. That's kind of nice. So rocks or, or logs hit right here. You won't damage your chain. That's kind of nice. It's integrated in there. You could take that off if you wanted to. Wellgo platform pedals. Nice beefy connector right there. Again, there's your Shimano Altus derailleur with the derailleur protector so if you hit anything here it protects it all right so say you come to a hill and you want to get off the bike and push it up the hill well because this thing weighs 72 pounds it actually has a feature where if you hold the negative button here for two seconds the bike will go uphill at six kilometers per hour look at that I'm pushing it with one hand because the bikes basically pushing itself up the hill that's pretty helpful. And lastly, it has a humongous, beefy kickstand. You can remove it if you don't want it. But it's nice and beefy, so you can park it in the dirt along the riverbank. And here's something that's kind of nice. Himaway offers a limited two-year warranty. So if there's something that they did wrong, as far as manufacturing goes, they'll take care of you for two years. Now, if it's something obvious that you did wrong, like you crashed this thing or rode it through a river or something stupid, then yeah, they're not gonna cover that. But they do have a limited two-year warranty, which is nice. That's a look at the Himaway Cruiser, set up to be basically a hardtail fat tire mountain bike. Again, for $1,500, I think this is a good option because it, it does multiple things, right? If you want to use it as a commuter bike just to go to school or work, you can outfit it that way. Uh, I believe they said the range is 30 to 65, depending on how much input you put into it and what the terrain looks like. So if it's smooth roads and you don't weigh that much, you could probably go 65 on level one. But if you're kind of bigger dude, uh, they say the max weight is 350 pounds. I'm 200 pounds. A 200 pound guy riding around out in the mountains like this, you're probably only going to get like 20 miles uh, range. So just keep that in mind. It's all relative to what you're doing with the bike. All right, guys, there you have it. That is my review of the Himaway Cruiser. Pretty awesome fat tire e-bike. All right, guys, if you want to buy the Himaway Cruiser for yourself, go ahead and hit that link below the video. That'll take you to a website where you can purchase one of these. I believe there's a payment plan option as well. So if you have good credit, you can buy this 
for a couple hundred dollars a month, which is pretty cool. And just for uh, full transparency, I am an affiliate with Hemaway, so if you buy using my link, you do support my channel monetarily, which I appreciate. If you guys thought this video was educational or entertaining, and you want to buy this bike, and you want to help me out, well then hit that link, and you will absolutely help me out. I don't have a Patreon, I don't have sponsors, uh, but I do uh, use affiliate links when I can. So I appreciate your help, guys. All right, hit that like button to support my channel. I appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the Himaway Cruiser. This thing is an absolute beast. I think this is a great value for about $1,500. 750-watt geared hub drive motor. 17.5 amp-hour battery uh, with samsung cells four inch fat tires suspension fork disc brakes and a light and fenders and a rack if you want them i think it's an awesome value guys and it looks cool people will look at you <laughs> it's definitely a, a social bike too take it to a campsite people want to talk to you all right guys thanks a lot for watching take care have fun mm -hmm.